we start with TikTok. 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 I don't know what TikTok is. Anybody know what TikTok is? It's some kind of social networking thing, video thing, fun, short videos. People go crazy. They are TikTok stars. They are TikTok with, uh, you know, people with huge, massive followings. Um, uh, it's the hot, the hot uh, social media platform right now. And uh, it's the hot you know, the hot video platform there is right now. It's, it's very similar to, uh, to what, um, I don't know, Instagram was for a while. And then there was, there'd been like five different iteration of different, um, different companies that, uh, there was Vine, there was Vine, that's right, Vine. And there was, uh, there were others like that, that, uh, all the kids get excited about and they do funny videos and everybody downloads and everybody watches and it lasts for, I don't know, a year or two. And then everybody switch to something else. I, I don't think it's soft porn. I don't think there's any any porn on it. Um, I what? So DDV show says no soft porn. It's called the internet. No, no, no. The internet's pretty hard porn. What do you? What do you? Where's the soft part in the internet? I have no idea. I mean, even the news on the internet. Maybe the news on the internet is soft porn, and the porn on the internet is hard. Uh, there's a called Snapchat, which is uh, owned by the company called Snap. Uh, and, uh, and you've got, you know, so you've got multiple competitors to this. Anyway, um, the Trump administration has decided that TikTok is a national security threat to the United States. Uh, Secretary Pompeo a few days ago uh, said that they were looking at ways in which to shut TikTok down. And um, today, no, yesterday, today, yesterday, yesterday, maybe it was yesterday. I can't keep track. Yesterday, I think Donald Trump said that he would sign an executive order today, Saturday, that would ban TikTok. He was personally going to eliminate TikTok, as he said in, uh, in his little uh, statement to the press. He has the power. He has the power to uh, shut down this company. Now, why is this company uh, so offensive to uh, the uh, the Trump administration, well, primarily because it, it's owned by the Chinese, and we'll talk about why that is important in a minute. But it's owned by a Chinese company. Whoops, what did I just do? It's owned by a Chinese company, and of course we know that that anything Chinese these days is bad, evil, wrong, nasty, uh, and that the federal government needs to needs to protect us from those evil Chinese um, and what they might do to this country. Of course. Uh, why is it a, a, uh, a national security threat? Well, A, because it is owned by a Chinese company. Now, as it turns out, TikTok is a U.S. subsidiary of this Chinese company. It is a complete, all the videos, all the content uh, on the U.S. Um, subsidiary, uh, on the U.S. TikTok versus the Chinese TikTok, is all content, uh, especially... Uh, all American content, it's content that's produced and created and, and, and done here. Chinese TikTok is very different than American TikTok. I don't think China, the Chinese consumers have access to the American TikTok and American consumers don't have access to the Chinese TikTok. They're separate entities, separate subsidiary. But this is the fear. The fear is that TikTok collects massive amounts of user data, as all social media does. It collects data. I guess you have to sign in, and then they, they get to see what you watch and what you don't watch. And they aggregate all this data, and this data is held in, in, on servers. Uh, and the Trump administration is claiming that, uh, as a consequence, that data can fall into the hands of the uh, Chinese authorities. That is, that we know the Chinese companies often fall under the thumb of the Chinese government, and therefore the Chinese government can force them to provide uh, the data uh, usage of, uh, of Americans on, um, on TikTok USA. Now, granted, that would be a, a violation of privacy rights of American uh, consumers, and that would be a bad thing. There is zero evidence that any of that has happened. There's zero suggestion of that. There's no criminal prosecution. There's no civil cop prosecution against TikTok. Um, uh, it, it, there is nothing. Um, there is nothing that uh, indicates that the Chinese government has had so far any access to this data. 
Uh, there are stories about the kind of data that it collects, and it collects data like any other app. Um, it is uh, delivered to your phone through uh, Apple uh, and uh, through the Apple App Store, and Apple, I guess, monitors what those apps collect, and through the Google Play App Store on Google. It is obviously uh, incredibly popular, tens of millions of U.S. subscribers, uh, and, and in Europe it is, is, it is, for whatever reason, I don't understand these things, I mean, every one of these video apps to me look the same, but there's something unique about it. There's something special. There's something entertaining that people really like. Uh, and uh, obviously, this data is collected, and this data is uh, is um, substantial in terms of what videos you watch, and maybe some personal data associated with when you sign in. Anyway, this is deemed a national security threat. A national security threat. Now, as a first step, the Trump administration has taken and has asked, uh, uh, you know, uh, military and, and government employees in sensitive positions to uh, delete the app. The other idea is that maybe the app provides some kind of entry point into your iPhone and steals other information from your iPhone. I'm dubious about that given Apple's very, very strict you know, oversight over what goes in the app store, but, you know, this is the, this is the Chinese. They are capable of anything. And, and as somebody says, why take a chance? It's dangerous. Uh, this is particularly relevant when American uh, social media companies are uh, being accused of selling private data. Um, this is not an accusation the Chinese company will, but the, the Chinese company um, is, going to, uh, is going to give it to their government not sell it to private companies as some Americans have. Now, I am dubious about the whole line of reasoning. If there is evidence, sure, prosecute. There is a court of law. There are ways in which to prosecute companies for abusing the data that they have. We have intelligence services. We have law enforcement exactly for this purpose, to detect violation of individual rights of Americans. And if individual rights are violated, yes, then the government should step in and do something about it. But we're talking about a stupid video app. There have been two other cases where the Trump administration has done this with Chinese companies. And I can't pronounce these companies. So those of you who know a little bit of Chinese or maybe know uh, something about how to pronounce these Chinese company names, I apologize in advance. One is ZTE, so that's pretty easy. But the other one is Huai, H U A. W-E-I, Hawaii. Now, both of those companies make ele electronic equipment. For example, Hawaii makes e equipment for uh, 5G, right? That's how, that's how we, all get, um, that's how we all, all get the coronavirus, is through Hawaii's 5G equipment. I don't know if you heard. I think I've talked about it in the previous show about the conspiracy theory that it's 5G networks that are produced by the Chinese that actually activate the coronavirus. Um, anyway, uh, they create this hardware, and the danger there is that they will actually have, a, the Chinese government could have, therefore, implanted in this equipment back doors that provide, um, that provide it access, not just to the videos you've watched, but to everything, to, to, uh, you know, to uh, all your phone calls, to all your financial information, to really everything, once they can get in to the infrastructure of the web, you know, they can control, they theoretically can accumulate vast amounts of information. I assume that also American intelligence has some reason to think that Hawaii and ZTE, that the government which is involved with them, there's some real legitimate reason to believe that uh, these things could be used for espionage and therefore they've been banned. Uh, and, and the way the government did this with Hawaii and the ZTE is they basically banned them from a government contracts uh, and, and from participating in much of the um, infrastructure that is being built around 5G and, and other things. But primarily, they've done it through banning them from, from the government dealing with them at all. Uh, again, TikTok is a video thing. This is not an app from the Chinese government. This is an app from a Chinese company. And I know, I know that you guys have a hard time differentiating the two. 
I know that. But it's not the same thing. It just isn't. And indeed, much of what you consume, much of what you have in your pocket, including the, the iPhone and including not an iPhone, if you, if you have other kinds of products, like Samsung products or whatever, are products that are built, constructed, parts, features that come from, that come from China. No, it is not the same thing. I've said many times that the Chinese uh, government is not communist. Uh, the Chinese government is much more fascist than it is communist. You know, Enric says TikTok also shown to grab the iPhone global copy area where passwords and other sensitive information is placed. I, I'm skeptical. Allow me to be skeptical because I, I don't think Apple would tolerate that, of them doing that. And if it's being shown, you would think that Apple would have shut them down. Um, so... I'm, I'm skeptical about that. But look, there is, this is all part of a, a um, uh, you know, bank passwords, things like that. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, if it was, then why isn't, there, why isn't there a criminal lawsuit against the company? Why is Apple still having them on the platform? Is this because Apple has sold out the American people to a Chinese company? I'm skeptical. I am skeptical. It seems much more likely that this is, uh, you know, this is a winning issue for Trump. That's, I think, what it, this is all about. The one issue that Trump has going for him, oh, he's got a number of issues, but one of the issues Trump has going for him going into this election is the fact that the American public are unbelievably uh, uh, skeptical and negative about the Chinese government, and to a large extent, for the right reasons Oh, I don't know if there were the right reasons. There's good reasons for them to be. I don't think it's for the right reasons. Just like I don't think that Trump's skepticism and negativity about the Chinese government is, is, is for the right reasons. That has nothing to do with uh, the fascist nature of the government. It has nothing to do with the, what they're doing in Hong Kong. It has nothing to do with what they're doing with the Muslims in, uh, in Western China. It has everything to do with politics. Everything to do with politics. And with his perspective on trade. His perspective on trade. So he is betting that in spite of the fact that young voters love TikTok, he doesn't have the young vote anyway, that he is going to go for China's powerful uh, incentive to vote. And, but it's all, about, it's all about China as the villain. I don't believe it has anything to do with the reality. Again, uh, we are consumers of hundreds, if not thousands, on a daily basis of Chinese products. Most companies, most of the companies that we buy from in China are private companies, to the extent that they, you know, they're allowed to be private in China. But they are. They, they, they make their own decisions. They build their own products. They keep the profits. They pay lower taxes than American companies. But we know, and this is the difference between China and America, in China, companies could be taken over by the government at the whim of the government. Companies can be forced to be part of the government at the whim of the government. Com but can be, uh, companies can, can have to take a knee in front of the government at the first opportunity. In America, on the other hand, it can't just be at the whim of the government, although sometimes it is. It, it, there, ha there has to be some process, but uh, the government can bring companies to their knees just as well. For example, this TikTok company is a, a, an American subsidiary. Yes, of a Chinese company, but it's in America. Employs Americans. Employs over 1,000 Americans. The servers where all this information is stored is in the United States of America. And this is what I think is truly revealing. Uh, TikTok... USA has been in discussions with Microsoft to sell TikTok to Microsoft. And it has been in discussions for weeks now because it would like to, right? Would like to. The highest amount Super Chat permits is $99 since when? That's interesting. Because it, it used to allow much larger contributions. That's interesting. 
Um, anyway, TikTok has been in negotiations with Microsoft to sell because TikTok realized that they were going to be shut down by the Trump administration. So they figured that they might as well cash out. That they might as well cash out. And those negotiations uh, have seemed like they're fruitful and Microsoft was on the verge of buying TikTok. And that's a way for, again, the Chinese companies to capitalize, to, to get the money of, for its investment. And now Microsoft would be responsible for the data. So if it has not been shown that TikTok is stealing sensitive information. It has not been shown that. If it was shown that, there would be a lawsuit by the government. So again, there's tons of misinformation out there, but there is no actually concrete evidence Otherwise, if there was any kind of evidence, the Justice Department would have filed a lawsuit. Instead of Trump threatening to shut it down through executive order, which is dubious because it's not clear he has the authority to do it, and it's not clear how he would do it, why not just take them to court and shut them down that way? And the reason is because they don't have evidence. I mean, if, if there's evidence, you take it to court. You use executive orders and you use threats when there's no evidence. And again, the indication of why this is, that this is something different is the fact that Trump said that he would not accept TikTok selling to Microsoft. Why? Why wouldn't he accept that? Why isn't it okay? If the problem really is that TikTok's collecting this information and might be passed on to Chinese government, why is selling to Microsoft not a solution? It seems like the logical thing. It's a very popular app in Americans. There's this risk that the data would go to China, sell the thing, put Microsoft in charge, put it in data centers controlled by Microsoft, and you solve the problem. And yet Trump said no. And why? Why? Well, because that would take a win away from him. Trump wants a win. Trump wants the ability to say, I shut down a Chinese company. Trump wants to be able to say, I protected you from the evils of a Chinese company. And by Microsoft buying it, the market will have solved the problem. <laughs> and there was no interest. There was no interest in the market for this administration in seeing markets solve problems. This is a, an administration interested in central planners solving problems. Now, I did find it interesting that there is no, I, I try to read up on how Trump would shut it down. We don't have in the United States a mechanism to shut down an app. I mean, the Chinese do. In China, if, if you piss off the government, if you piss off the equivalent of, of their leaders, then they can put a barrier between the server and the, the, they can just shut them down. The United States, we don't have that. We don't have control like that over the Internet. They could, the Commerce Department could tell Apple and uh, Google they can't sell the app on the App Store. But they'd have to have a reason, and there'd be a lawsuit, and it's not clear how you would do that. Again, we, as compared to China, and, and some of you probably think this is a big disadvantage, we are a country of laws. The president can't just say, I don't want this app to be on the platform and get rid of it. There's a process. There's a, there are lawsuits. This will be contested. I mean, it's just no simple mechanism by which we can, or our government, can shut down somebody like TikTok. And, and good, because imagine if they could shut down any app, any social media, any business they didn't like.
So, yeah, it's... I don't know where this is going to go. Saturday has pretty much passed. And as far as I can tell from following the news, Trump has not yet signed that executive order. TikTok is still working. Uh, TikTok is owned by a Chinese company. Um, I have the name of the Chinese company here somewhere. Um, but I can't find it right now. Anyway, it's owned by a Chinese company. But Microsoft, which was going to buy the company, was, um, has stopped the negotiations until Donald Trump, our commander, well, central plan in chief, uh, actually decides whether he let Microsoft buy them. Yes, a bit, bit dance, bit dance is the name of the Chinese company that owns TikTok. So instead of just letting the market solve the problem, which is it was going to do with Microsoft buying TikTok. Microsoft now is stepping away to see what the government wants to do because now we are all beholden, a little bit like the Chinese in China, we are all beholden to the government to get approval for what we do, to get permission for what we do. And this is remind you of a Republican administration, for whatever that's worth. I think the volume was way high there. Nobody told me. All right, if the volume is too low now, let me know. But I think it was too high there before. Um, okay. Let's see. Do we have any Super Chat questions on TikTok? The main thing distinguishing TikTok from other apps is its ownership. Unlike the other parts of the world, China exper uh, experts say the Communist Party could easily pressure TikTok into hand over data. True. True. But there's no evidence that's happened. And you could prosecute if it did because it's a legal entity in the United States, the subsidiary. And the data is not exactly national security data. And they were going to sell to Microsoft. So why not just let them sell to Microsoft? And then the ownership problem is solved. But at least yesterday, now he could have changed his mind. At least yesterday, Donald Trump said no to selling to Microsoft. Again, the fact that we even can't, you know, ask the president whether a company can sell to another company is amazing to me. Um, uh, Derek says, asked, what do you think of the song TikTok by Keisha? I think you'll be shocked to discover. I'm shocked, shocked that I don't know what he's talking about. Who is Keisha? And given I don't know who Keisha is, I certainly don't know a song by TikTok. So uh, for, for commentary, on popular culture or popular music, you will have to go elsewhere. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there 
help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at yourownbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.